Hey everybody, welcome back to the Fungal Corner, and today we're taking a closer look at the Night King and Icy Viserion. So for this review, I did something very, very different. And you guys are going to see what I did, and I would like to know what you guys think about what I did. Now, it's not the best quality of what I wanted. I actually learned a lot about Premiere Pro doing this, so that the next pop I do, I will actually be able to do longer shots. But the reason the um, video kind of goes from shot to shot to shot is because they were all too shaky. And uh, But I learned a lot from doing this. This is kind of a test to see how you guys like it, because I did want to do something different. So check out the video I took of Icy Viserion and the Night King. be a little bit more interesting than just putting them on a turnstile and letting them rotate. Um, this is a very, very, very detailed pop. I love this pop. Um, he's complete. It, it's just like, you know, take a blue filter and blue out Drogon and then just put the Ice King on top of the Ice King, the Night King on top of him. He does come off and he's kind of stuck in that, that riding, um, sitting pose and they're still wet because it was raining outside. Um, I am going to see if I could put Daenerys on him because I don't know if anybody's put Daenerys on him, but putting down the Ice King because the Ice King's pretty generic. This dragon is very nicely detailed. All, all the scales, the feet, the every, everything about him, all the teeth, oh, perfectly detailed, perfectly detailed. So the only thing that I do not like about this pop combo. I mean, the Night King's pretty well detailed too, but you know, I care more about the dragon than I do the Night King, to be honest. Um, honestly, this, this would have just been fine for me. I would have bought just this. This is amazing. And some of my friends would have agreed, well, I just want the dragon. So, but as a team pair, I think that this set was necessary yet unnecessary. And I also think that he could have been a little bit more snowy. And that I wish that these holes in his wings were actual holes instead of just these little tears. Because in the TV show, they're, they're actually holes and tears. Um, and maybe the, the pupils on the, uh, the Night King there weren't necessary. Um, because when I was doing those shots, my camera liked to focus on those pupils. And I was just like, oh, stop focusing on the pupils. It's kind of creepy, too. Um, but at the same time, when I heard they were coming out with this, it's literally... Drogon repainted and then they took the Night King with a different mold and put him on top of it. Um, it's a common thing that I've been seeing with Funko. Not not to really complain, but at the same time they're taking molds that already exist, repainting them, slapping a different box on them, and maybe a different character and giving us something completely new. Which, in this case, they did it right. They did 100% right. It looks amazing. Um, it photographed really, really well, so if you follow me on Instagram, you should be seeing pictures of this guy up on Instagram soon. Um, overall, very nicely detailed pop. No complaints other than it's kind of a duplicate pop, um, but at the same time it's not. It's more of a variant pop. But overall, I love him. So, do 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 do. So he's going to go back in the box after I dry him off because it's pouring outside. Let me know what you think about that little 45 minute clip where it was going back and forth and moving or rotating. Um, I was working in the rain and I was trying to be steady and then I learned that through Premiere Pro I can actually steady the image. So for the next, next pop I do, I will definitely have a longer shot and put. I, I want to try to put pops in their environment. I also want to try to photograph pops in their environment. Because 
I think I missed my calling a long time ago because these guys photograph really, really good. And I think I have another hobby that I might get into because I have so many. I could do so much photography with these guys. So stay tuned on my Instagram because I'm going to continue to upload photos there. Um, I am getting to counting all the Batmans. That was one of the videos where my mic decided not to work. But I can tell you I do have a number, but that's for another video. And I'll be sending out stickers to those lucky people who guessed the right one. And then also on Friday, I will be going to ECC. If you guys don't know what ECC is, it's Emerald City Comic Con. And I will be shooting a lot of video there. And I'll hopefully this weekend have an Emerald City Comic Con video for you. I did not win the Funko Lottery. It was random. Just I'm going to Emerald City Comic Con with my best friend before she goes on deployment. And we're just going to go try and meet some celebrities, get their signatures, and hang out and have a good time. So expect a video from that. I'm going to try to take loads of video. I'm going to be taking battery packs, my Canon, and my GoPro. So when one fails, the other one hopefully will be there to save my life. And I will try to visit the Funko booth and get video of the Funko booth for you guys to see. So that's it for this, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know what you think about what I did with this video, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.